taping? Yeah. Welcome again to Acoustic Cafe. I'm your host, Rob Reinhart. On the show today, the new music from Tom O'Dell, Jade Bird, a new duo called Loving, a classic cover done by Aretha, not prints that you know, and our in-studio guest, Frontier Ruckus. We did have those managers throughout our career that were like, Matthew, can't you just write a love song? Can you limit the words under a thousand? Uh, <laughs> I said, no, I cannot. We write the songs and record them for ourselves, and I think we owe that to our audience. Starting almost 20 years ago, childhood friends Matthew Melia and David Jones started the band in the Detroit suburbs, leading to their debut album called The Orion Songbook. To the untrained eye, Orion is spelled exactly like Orion, but folks from the town of Lake Orion know better. That debut and the next few albums to follow put Frontier Ruckus on stages around the world, including Lollapalooza and Bonnaroo. But as time went on, the band members tired of touring and settled down into straight jobs, relationships, families. And now in their late 30s, there hasn't been a Frontier Ruckus album in seven years. But this week, they drop on the North Line. We'll be joined by the core trio, Matthew, David, and multi-instrumentalist Zachary Nichols, as Frontier Ruckus stops by as our in-studio guests. New music from the Motor City area this week with the band Frontier Ruckus. Growing up together, songwriter Matthew Melia and banjoist and vocalist David Jones created Frontier Ruckus barely out of high school. Fifteen years ago, they issued their debut called The Orion Songbook. And for a few years, and their first few albums, the Americana sound was a perfect fit. And they found themselves touring the world and playing huge festivals, including Lollapalooza and Bonnaroo. As time went on, the albums got bigger and more adventurous, while the desire to be out on the road endlessly began to wane. Now in their late 30s, there hasn't been a Frontier Ruckus album since 2017, and the band members have settled into different routines, including jobs and relationships and families, as you do. The new album is called On the North Line, which started during the pandemic, with the core trio of Melia, Jones, and multi-instrumentalist Zachary Nichols, working remotely at first, then together with producer Ben Collins. The album contains more observations of a fading suburban American life, but Matthew Melia had some other stuff to write about, too. During those seven years, he met and then married his wife, Lauren, and the two now have an 11-month-old. Still, with all the changes, On the North Line felt a lot like that first album, as they told us when Frontier Ruckus dropped by our studios a couple of weeks ago. Well, it's crazy when you make your first record and you literally have no idea what you're doing, but there's such a beautiful naivete to that. And somehow those are the songs that a lot of our hardcore supporters latch on to. And I'm like, really, that one? Like the recording, I'm, my guitar's not even in tune. It's like <laughs> so raw, but there's that, uh, it's just like a magnetic rawness. Like there's n- nothing, it's so immediate. Um, so we kind of just accidentally did that again. It was This is very much a pandemic record. So we were just in an Ypsilanti, Ben Collins Ypsilanti home studio, um, no electric guitars, all acoustic instruments. So just back to that core Frontier Ruckus DNA instrumentally, mm-hmm. like Zach you know, melodica, trumpet, singing saw, banjo, acoustic guitar, no jangly 12 strings, no production tricks, just a, a reel-to-reel a Tascam 388 tape recorder. It, it just accidentally was like a full circle, it sounded like we did back in 2008. There's also that ability to not care so much that first time around because mm-hmm. you don't know. We were so young that the only way that we knew to play music was just to sit in a room on facing each other and play music. And so that's how we recorded. Yeah. And that's generally how we've recorded our records. Um, I, th- I think the last record just before this was the first one that we had ever really kind of like tracked piece by piece. That was a Nashville record. It was the Frontier yeah. Ruckus Nashville record. So it's got yeah. a little polish to it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, um, and, but we always liked recording like that. And so doing, doing that more, even more so for this record, except Zach couldn't be there because it was, it was COVID and he had a COVID COVID scare. We recorded at Dave's a little bit too, especially the saw. Yeah, we drank a lot of coffee and just come up with some crazy, insane saw yeah. ideas and harmonies. I always was uh, I was sad. A little, I always want to put more saw on the records because I think it's a lot, of, a lot of fun and I like the sound of it. But I don't know. In the last couple, I got too obsessed with the uh, little Casio keyboards and I... <laughs> yeah, it was nice to put them away because because uh, it's like, well, let's figure out a saw part for this song. Summer sticky sickness and one Jehovah's Witness knocking at my sticky summer door. Just swishing beer and wishing I weren't still living here. With nowhere else I think I might like more. Guy in the alley, screaming a finale. A 
about some money that somebody owes. Well, I've been going a long time owing a debt to someone I don't even know. There wasn't much to say the day I met you. Wasn't much to do all summer long But I could tell from the moment it fell Everywhere but beside you felt wrong So hold on a second and tell me what you've reckoned About the night that we spent on the floor Gotten pretty quiet on the lonely heart to die as the scavenge through the drive throughs evermore. And having slammed the cupboard, I hit the northern suburb where the cashiers at Home Depot know my name. I duplicate the house key. She forgot to leave me But every cashier last year felt the same Every cashier last year felt the same Every cashier last year felt the same It wasn't much to say the day I met you wasn't much to do all summer long But I could tell from the moment it fell Everywhere but beside you felt wrong And after all, the birthdays this fall Everywhere but beside you Beside you, everywhere but beside you will feel wrong. Everywhere but beside you. That is from the new album called On the North Line, as performed live in our studios by the court trio called Frontier Ruckus. That would be Matthew Melia, David Jones, and Zachary Nichols. The albums got bigger as time went on. This is back to a certain simplicity, obviously, in the making of it. Like, there, there was a certain amount of uh, restriction as to how much you could or could not do just mm-hmm. because of the pandemic. But everything seemed simpler, like, start to finish. Well, you, you got to leave to come back again, to yeah. come home again, right? So yeah. it's like, yeah, we definitely, I mean, this is our, si- our sixth LP. So we had periods where we were, you know, we love all sorts of music, like 90s uh, power pop and, mm-hmm. you know, Teenage Fan Club and Lemonheads and all the kind of stuff, like stuff that has uh, hookier melodies and tambourines. So we, we, we had our indulgences, but this is like just folk music with a lot of lyrics is the Frontier Ruckus recipe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of lyrics. Um, the last we spoke, uh, Matthew, this was, uh, wow, almost to the day, uh, two years ago. So 2022, I think work on this album really had largely happened because you mentioned, you said, oh, there's another Frontier Ruckus album coming. <laughs> Um, you were also uh, a newlywed, and I understand there's now a baby involved as well. We have a 10-month-old, so life Busy has changed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. On the North Line contains songs that uh, are about half from before meeting your wife, Lauren, and half after. So that's what I love about this record. It has this tension between two really uh, diametrically opposed eras of my life. Uh, and I think it might be that the last of the Matthew Milia sad, angsty, classic Frontier Ruckus minor key songs, because um, I wrote those ones before I met Lauren, because it's the first time I felt I, I just couldn't believe my good fortune to have met this person. And it was off to the races. Did you guys hear the difference in the songs between those two? Yeah, cer- periods? certainly. Though I feel like wasn't there wasn't there at least one minor key song that you wrote after after you met Lauren? Yes. Well, I still have angst. Yeah. <laughs> so I was going to say, let's say it ain't this, so. Let's get this yeah. straight. Yeah. It's not coming <laughs> from a place of utter loneliness. That's yeah. my favorite. 
yeah, yeah. I can definitely hear that. I can definitely hear that that dichotomy in in the record. And and even though there's there are like there's kind of angsty, kind of country rockish songs on the record. That seems like a loaded term to even use, but it, I guess it's true. Like everywhere but beside you is very very kind of and we had that kind of weird country strain in our early stuff too yeah like, so that's that's always kind of been there as well mm-hmm. just like the neil young harvest vibe the gift certificate that you gave me expired today i was too tired to make it to the mire in white lake anyway well it's raining like halloween like every Halloween since I turned 17 Do you know what I mean? Magdalene not your name People love to share the details but rarely share the blame Oh I'm sorry for what I became What you've seen Campari Twice spilled on the same computer screen Now I'm nothing but a waste of your caffeine I waste it all Did you not hear the desperate call, the fog on the mirror, the scream in the hall? Cause everyone knew. I thought it was you I was glad I was wrong The autumn girls keep asking why I'm overdressed They offered me some medicine and I guess I acquiesced Lately, this played out scene Feels vaguely like a broken Coke machine And I'm stuck in between That place And Magdalene Another one of the new songs, that is Magdalene. The new album is called On the North Line. First album in seven years from our in-studio guests this week, Frontier Ruckus. And we'll have more with Matthew, David, and Zachary in the second hour of the show. Let's get back into more with our in-studio visit with the three core members of the band, Frontier Ruckus. They have released their first album in seven years. It's called On the North Line. Let's get back to more with songwriter and guitarist Matthew Melia, also David Jones on banjo, and multi-instrumentalist Zachary Nichols, Frontier Ruckus. Oh, uh, there's the song Clarkston Pasture. You know, once you see the end of that bachelorhood, like, once you see it, you can't really write from that perspective again. Right. It's A door shuts. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it was triumphant and celebratory, and, and it kind of parallels the path of the band. You know, it just, we're in our late 30s now, and just, you realize there's these cliched uh, milestones of life that are there for a purpose a natural checkpoint of slowing down where it, it's so comforting to just slow down like we were on the road for a decade straight of never stopping mm-hmm. um and there's such a privilege and a, a gratification to be able to f- wake up every day and just be a professional musician and that's what you do and that and just chase your dream but it's also potentially the most like demoralizing enterprise in the world um 
because it's your dream that's at stake. So yeah, um, it, it's been nice to to treat this record with just a lot of patience, and we were patient with it. It took like six years to make. We're just in a different place in our lives, mm. it, but it's a beautiful place. You mentioned uh, you recorded on this Tascam 388 machine. I only bring it up. This is a piece of mid to late 80s technology. Um, four or eight track? Eight track. Eight track. Yeah. Okay, all right. Quarter um, inch, reel to reel. Yeah, right. It's analog. Um, it's a mi mixing desk and analog recorder all in one. Um, was there a sonic reason to do this? Or It's a highly sought after piece of gear in like the bedroom pop, like DIY world. It yeah. just has such a warmth to it. It's but warm. We, Mm -hmm. it's, we actually it's, it's mellifluous it's yeah, yeah it just it, has a it has a feel to it a baked in nostalgia i guess because I mean, okay. it is obsolete technology so it just sounds like that but we actually broke it through the recording of this so the, <laughs> it got increasingly more warbly you can yeah. hear it on some of the guitar tracks at the at the fade outs it's like yeah but we like that we kept it in i mean and and then you 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 basically record your your bass tracks to the to the tape machine and then and then dump it onto a, a computer and and mix it and overdub. It was more of a flavoring that that. But it also it kind of limits flavoring. the amount of overdubs you can do in a sense. Like if we're doing a live take, which mm -hmm. goes back to that simplification that we were just kind of doing accidentally. Yeah, I was going to bring up though that that limitation of tape. You were taping and then dumping it into yeah. digital. I've always liked the way that that felt, and I like the way that Matt sounds when he sings live. He he sings without without thinking and with that raw emotionality that I, I and like. Permitting and ourselves likes. that, it kind of ties back to this like natural where we are in our lives, like of just letting go and not like obsessing over every take and just mm -hmm. caring more about feel and just expressing the song and the lyric and the vibe. That's what people yeah. like too. That's what people that's respond what to like. and that's why they yeah. like that first record. It's yeah. so weird. I'd rather wear another layer I'd rather sit in my big coat In my cold living room Cultivate a sore throat And be the only person who Is breathing in the furnace air I think it's safe to assume I'd be the only person there His company is not near And nothing's gonna bring it back Not another cold beer Not another night black The blackness all around you're a young Milky Way Swirling in the bright sun But wasn't it just yesterday Your warm breath in my ear You're the only person who When everyone could disappear I'd only want to think of you Ooh. Clarkston Pasture Driving the last bachelor pad my uncle had. You called me the master of petty sad bastardism. That day on all was not so bad. That day all in all was not so bad. I'm wondering what you see. I'm wondering what you know. I wonder if you peep me in the Christmas tree glow. The family is dwindling, and all your old furniture gather it is kindling. Try to raise the temperature in your hometown starlight, freezing in a parking lot, cheering on a bar fight. But you know where it's always hot. Clarkston Pasture, driving faster Out past the last bachelor pad My uncle had, he called me the master Petty sad bastardism That day all in all was not so bad That day all in all was not so bad
That is the song Clarkston Pasture, another one you'll find on that new album called On the North Side, the first album in seven years from our in-studio guests on Acoustic Cafe this week, the trio Frontier Ruckus. On the North Line ends with an instrumental called Wherefore. It got halfway through before I realized that there were no lyrics here. (laughs) I was really hoping that would happen when it was the last track. I was kind of happy because I was like, no one will think anything's fishy um, until until probably where you were at in the song. (laughs) Yeah. When Zach writes a song like that, his melodies are so lyrical. Like there's something about it that is so like playful and and, like, like it's talking to you. But Zach's songs are perhaps the only ones where he writes every part. Mm. So it's very, like, it's orchestrated. That could be a song that had lyrics. I, okay. I sing I sing lyrics to it. Do you want to know the lyric I had? Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to write a memoir to to keep you up to date. That's all I had. <laughs> He's a cheeky guy. His <laughs> lyrics are very cheeky and cute and kind of, like, sinister in a great, weird way. Zach's in some great bands of his own. That's my problem, though. That's my one lyric for that song, so... All right, so we, we mentioned the magic of that feeling um, of the first album. Time doesn't stand still, though. Like, it doesn't stand still. It doesn't go backwards. There is that beautiful naivete that you were talking about, but you also come to it with a lot of experience and knowing what you should, should, put quotes around that, should and should not do. There's a certain beauty in that. Confidence. There's mm-hmm. the confidence of being able to know and just know and not waste time doing things you know you should not do, mm-hmm. right? It comes from another liberating factor of not caring about show business anymore. <laughs> like, you know, Davey is like the most, the preeminent banjo instructor in Michigan. Uh, Zach manages an awesome shop here in Ann Arbor. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've sold my soul to work in the advertising industry. So um, the music that we do make, we're going to be damned if anyone's going to tell us what to do or, or like even consider any sort of commercial uh, considerations. Uh, we, we did have those managers throughout our career that were like, Matthew, can't you just write a love song? Like, just can you limit the words under a thousand? Uh, and I said, no, I cannot. I literally don't. Know. So yeah, like you said, it's a confidence, but it's also just a stubbornness. That are, I mean, we're, we write the songs and record them for ourselves. And I think we owe that to our audience. Anyone could overdo it, but I don't think we are. <laughs> <laughs> Syrup and saccharin don't really factor in when I'm with Catherine. On the North Line When 15 years after the high school races left On the North Line When tectonic molars and incisors start to shift On the North Line The municipal golf course strewn in October leaves On the North Line Coughs and scratch offs are stolen by the nursing home thieves. On the North Line, the McDonald's sign, the only pending deal. On the North Line, on the North Line, you peel it the way you feel today till a ten year old. some errands with whatever your parents left on the north line you had the physique of a youth travel soccer coach on the north line your hatchback was matte black and sleek in its nightly approach on the north line there's a sense that the denseness of night is colliding with sector of town that dissolves in a black hole of beige. On the north line, there's this friend of mine who's just dying to make a deal. On the north line, on the north line, you peel it the way you feel today to the ten year old. Today to the ten years. 
showed you what is real The title track on the North Line from our in-studio guests this week. The band Frontier Ruckus, made up of Matthew Melia on guitar and lead vocals. Also, David Jones on banjo and vocals, plus multi-instrumentalist Zachary Nichols, playing all kinds of stuff as our in-studio guests. You will find that new album called On the North Line on their own sitcom universe label. And you can find out about the band always at FrontierRuckus.com.